Hello, my beautiful MK Love fam, and welcome back to another episode. And if this is your first time here, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday at 7 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Now, I teach you how to learn to love yourself, flaws and all. Yeah, that is a big one. Trust your intuition and to manifest your heart's true desires. Now, if this sounds like your cup of tea, then you are totally at the right place. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to manifest anything. You can literally apply my 10 hottest tips to any aspect of your life. I have used these tips to manifest my beautiful fiance, Peter, to manifest a house 200 meters from the beach, which is incredible, to manifest a new car, to literally launch my business, melaniekatelove.com, where I work with the most beautiful clients ever, and for my beautiful YouTube channel. This channel has over 1 million views and I have created such a beautiful community and that is all because of the law of attraction. So if you would love to find out how you can manifest your heart's true desires, I urge you to keep watching. So tip number one is to write down your non-negotiables. Now this is everything that you do not, you're not gonna settle on. So for instance, when I was manifesting my fiance, I wrote down he had to be vegan, straight, he had to be a man, he had to be fabulous at communicating and be in tune with his body, his mind and his soul. And I got all of them, which is amazing. So the non-negotiables, write down what are you not going to waver on? Because I feel like that is truly the most important place to start. So I hope you have a pen and paper and you're writing these down because you're gonna be referring to these quite a lot. So tip number two is to write down everything else that you desire. So after I had written down that I wanted to, my non-negotiables for my fiance, I then wrote down I wanted to him to be um, open to living in a, in a tiny house. I want to live in a shipping container. I want to convert a shipping container, well, two shipping containers, join them together and make them a beautiful off-grid house. Um, and oh, what else did I want? I wanted to be able to do lots and lots of traveling. Oh my gosh, there were so many things. I literally wrote down everything in the present tense as if I already had it, which is super duper important when we're referring to one and two. Write them down as if you have them. Oh my gosh, that is such an important point. So, are you ready for tip number three? Release blockages. Now, this is the one that a lot of people struggle on, and that is the reason why I started my business, because I had so many people that were struggling and holding on to things that didn't serve them. I'm not too sure if you're aware, if you're new to my channel, I can actually, I am psychic and I connect with the angelic realm and I use oracle and tarot cards and listen to obviously your self talk because I can pick up within like the first 10 seconds to see where your blockages are. Your body language, your self talk um, and me connecting with uh, the higher realm, the angels um, and spirits, I can actually work out where these blockages are. The reason why it took me seven years to find my fiance was because I was holding on to an, an old relationship. I didn't realize that I still had attachment to him. I was like, okay, I've forgiven him. I've done this, I've done this, I've done this. What I realized is that it was like an onion. I think this is probably the best way to describe it. It was like an onion and I had peeled all these layers away, um, but then I hadn't got really to the heart of the matter. And when I learned to release and to forgive and to surrender to the process, it literally set me free. The moment I did that, the final piece of the onion that I released of my ex, three months later, Peter literally walked through my front door and I was like gobsmacked. I was like, dude, is this true? Are you sure? I'm not, ah, and I was like, so like hesitant for such a long time. But the universe made me very, very clear that this is your husband. And it's crazy because I actually knew six months before when I was living in Brisbane that I needed to move to the Gold Coast to meet my husband. And my angels told me that I had to go there to meet him in July. So I moved in July, but I actually didn't meet him, I think until September. Um, but it was so interesting. I just felt this, this connection, but we'll talk more about the intuition later. So 
Number four is to get into vibrational alignment. What the flip does that mean? Okay, so that means self-love practices. If you haven't already, download my free self-love self -love starter kit. In that, I teach you my three strategies to how to raise your vibration and make you feel amazing. I've included a 15-minute morning mindset audio to program your mind for success to make you feel amazing and unstoppable. I also have a five minute to bliss guided meditation for you to listen to, you know, when the shit hits a fan and you're like, I can't do this anymore, or my colleagues are just terrible, or I just is having a bad day. Listen to that, okay? And the third part of the self-love starter kit is a self-love practices workbook. I help you identify what does self-love look like for you? Because for me, self-love is like painting my nails, Buying this new shirt that I just flip and love because look, check out the pocket. Like that's so beautiful. I just love this shirt. Self-love means, you know, I went for a run this morning in my new workout gear because it makes me feel amazing. Going out to the beach, breathing in fresh air, dancing around the house, you know, having a stovetop chai tea latte. That is my self-love practice. What does self-love look like for you? If you have no flipping idea, download the self-love starter kit. You can find it in the link below or melaniekatelove.com forward slash start here. It's going to help you, you know, raise your vibration. It's basically anything that makes you feel good. Capiche? Okay. So the next one is to, this step number five is to read your list. That's your non-negotiables and everything else that you've written in your list in present tense. I want you to read this morning and night. What I did is I actually saved it on my phone and when I woke up, the first thing I did is I read that and when I went to bed and I just kind of kept reading through the list, reading through the list. But reading through the list isn't enough. You know why? Because step number six is all about visualization. Visualization is like the key that's going to set you free. Because when you visualize what you want in your mind, that means you can manifest it in your reality. When you visualize, think of it like a movie that's playing out in your head. So when you're visualizing, you are literally feeling the emotions associated with what you're trying to manifest as if it's already real. So for me, when I was manifesting my fiance, I was visualizing what it would feel like when I would wake up next to him as I would like roll over and I would smile and I would see this beautiful person that's asleep and I'm like, oh my God, he's just so flipping beautiful and just visualizing saying, good morning, sunshine. And you know, that actually came true when I first met Peter. Um, I was visualizing that he would open my door on date day. Um, I just thought that was so precious. He does that. Like he's an old school gentleman and I flipping love that. And I was visualizing like how he would um, be with me, you know, when life gets too much and I'm on the floor crying and I'm going through a tough time. Like I was literally visualizing how he would treat me and he's literally everything I have ever wanted and more. So visualization is so powerful. It's like your mind can't tell the difference between what you visualize and what is actually reality. So the more that you visualize it and you're reading the list and you're feeling the emotions associated with it, you, you've literally started to trick your brain. And I always say, if you visualize it in your mind, you can manifest it into your reality. So that is such an important tip. Oh, actually the visualization part and number seven is kind of together where I was saying like visualize it in your mind and feel the emotions associated. So that's actually tip number six and seven, kind of I mixed those ones up. The next one is number eight, which is all about having patience. This is the one that tricks a lot of you up because if you are not patient, then that shows you have resistance in your vibration. When you have resistance in your vibration, you are literally delaying it. I want you to have a look on the screen. This is the emotional guidance scale. So have a look to see where you are on this scale right now. If you're in fear, and you're like, oh, this is not going to happen. I'm scared, I'm gonna be alone forever. Or I'm never gonna get this job. I'm never gonna have this calm, blah, 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 blah. You're so far away from manifesting what you want. But if you continue to raise your vibration, vibrate in the frequency of love, when you're at that, and you know when you're vibrating the frequency of love, because that's when you're happy. That's when you're smiling. That's when you're having a good time and you're not stressed. When you're in that state, that's when the universe can send you what you want a lot, a lot, quicker. So pay attention. So make sure that when you 
having patience and you're just like, I know it's coming. You can just feel it. Like you get to a point where you're like, I know he's coming. Like, I know this money is coming. I know this job's coming. I know this house is coming. You know, I know my children are coming. You get to a point where you just, you just, you just have so much faith in the universe. And when you're at that stage, that's when your manifestation is coming to you so much quicker. Number nine is all about do not settle. Now I put this one in for a number of reasons because what happened to me is that as I wrote my list, I manifested people into my life, but I was like, oh, I think the universe is testing me here because this dude, I don't know, I don't really vibe with him. Like sometimes I'd go on a date and I would be with somebody and I'd be like, nah. Like I could just feel it within like two minutes of being with someone, I'm like, nah, you're not it. Like this is not gonna happen. You know, your intuition kind of just tells you if it's right or not. So trust those feelings. When the universe brings us these experiences into our lives and it doesn't feel right, I want you to go back to number one and two and start the process again because it's gonna give you an opportunity to fine tune exactly what you want. And for me, I had to change a couple of things because I thought I wanted this, but then when I manifested, I was like, oh no, nope. Nope, no, nope, this doesn't feel right. So don't see it as a failure, just see it as an opportunity to grow and to just, you know, kind of, I don't know, just go through the details again. So have patience and do not settle for what you want. And number 10 is all about enjoying the process. You know, it's such a beautiful journey to literally manifest things into your reality. If you're feeling stressed at any time, then it is so far away from you, it is not funny. If you are making your self-love practices a priority, so you wake up, you go for a run, you go for a walk, you have a cup of tea, you listen to music and you dance around your house before you get ready to go to work, you are so much closer to what you want. Keep visualizing what you want into your mind and you'll manifest it into your reality. If you manifest something and it doesn't feel right, go back to that list and go through everything because you are a one step closer to exactly what you manifest. Anyways, my love, I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Let me know below, what are you currently manifesting right now? Because I would love to hear from you. And if you have any suggestions of what else you would like to see in this Law of Attraction series, comment that down below because I would love to hear from you. And as always, and as always, I'll be responding to you from 7 a.m. till 8 a.m. So that's the first hour that this video is live. And I can't wait to hear what you've got to say in the comment section below. Have an amazing day, my beautiful MK Love fam, wherever you are in the world. And just know that everything is working out for you. Say, I am where I am and it's okay. I surrender to the process and I set myself free. Anyways, my love, I will see you on Sunday with another weekly angel guidance. This is a series that occurs every single Sunday. It helps you deal with the energies associated with the moon. So whatever's going on astrologically, you're going to kind of feel it into your reality. So it's kind of like a series that helps you cope with what's going on. And if you start manifesting with the moon, ooh, 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 that is going to totally supercharge everything. I wish you all the success in the world. I can't wait to speak to you in the comments. And yeah, join the MK Love Fam. Subscribe, hit that bell, comment below, and I'll talk to you soon. I love you so much. Goodbye.